amp section of the Dreadbox Nix. Um, we've already sort of experienced it in regard to the two modulators uh, for the filter. It has very similar architectures to them, but dealing with amplitude instead of timbre. So let's have a listen. Throughout this whole demonstration, I've had the hold all the way up, which uh, doesn't uh, give you hold. It's just like having the sustain all the way up on a typical envelope. Which means it's all the way on when I hold down a key and all the way off when I take my hand away. But it doesn't need to be that way. Okay, we can have it all the way, everything all the way down, which we get this really nifty clicking. Um, but let's bring up the decay. Now you may say to yourself, you would like an ADSR because you have more options, you have more control, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But keep in mind that some of the great synthesizers of the past and present, including uh, <laughs> another company I work for, has envelopes of this type and they do impart a certain character. And to be honest, most of the time, this is what people set things to anyway. So it's, uh, you're not, the fact that this is not an ADSR is not having a huge impact on you and it's actually allowing a certain character to creep in that you may not generate using an ADSR. And of course we can bring up the attack as well. So what I'm basically saying is, remember to let the unique aspects of a synthesizer define that synthesizer's sound and effect. If all of the synthesizers have the same sort of architecture, well, that's kind of happening in a lot of ways. You get a lot of the same sounding things. With unique arrangements like this, you can get interesting sounds that aren't generated by other synthesizers. And of course, this does act like a sustain, so if you want to bring it up, it will hold the level that you have it set to. And this level over here uh, decides the degree to which this uh, envelope affects the amplitude in general. So it kind of acts like a volume level, uh, like a level, <laughs> a volume level, I guess what I'm saying, a loudness amount. But it's more than that because it's also, the loudness is the result of the envelope being applied more and more to the amplitude of the sound. So as you bring it down, it's not just getting quieter, it's also a more subtle wave shape, if that distinction makes sense. So you also have the drone setting, which initially is very much like your LFO setting. And when it sets that, obviously it is articulating its own amplitude. So you're getting kind of a repeating effect. And you could certainly use that with the other, uh, with the filters. So let's get the filters set up so they're independently controlling themselves. And we can get a whole thing going here. Thank you. 
Uh, so yeah, you can definitely do some experiments with that and come up with your own little meters and rhythms and etc. Because not only do you have the uh, drone section um, articulating the amplitude by articulating the timbre and the filter cutoff point, you can create independent articulations and create rhythms like I was just creating. So that is a lot of fun. Uh, you can also with the drone section. Make it drone by bringing the hold up. Yes, you can have an awful lot of fun <laughs> with that, as I have just demonstrated. Um, I would also like to point out here that we have an LFO section, and you might say to yourself, well, I mean, we kind of have these LFOs here. What's this LFO section does? What does this LFO section do? And the answer is initially vibrato. It's right up to the bottom of the audio range. So um, you might say, well, why is it marked vibrato? Well, the truth of the matter is, if you want to get creative with your patching, you can put that vibrato anywhere you want, uh, which, well, that's not entirely, well, many, many places. So if you want to apply it, say to the filter and we have a drone going here and we start getting Now the LFO is controlling the filter cutoff point and we can start getting these other things happening. You get the idea. There are many, many different ways you can get things really moving uh, with the various um, looping envelope sections and in tandem with the LFO. So if you just want to be doing the really fancy stuff with the modulation sections and you'd like to add a subtle, gentle vibrato, uh, you can certainly do that. Or you can put the LFO to work in the patch section and, you know, make it start earning its keep. 